Tonight on Wavy News 10, I continue my two-part series about the effort to bring the remains of American soldiers home from where they fell during the Korean War. The last shot was fired decades ago, but thousands of families are still waiting for closure. Families like Ronnie Raboy's. Ronnie spent his teenage years on a farm in Hampton. His younger sister Lana remembers Ronnie teaching her how to play baseball and shoot a gun. She remembers him graduating from high school, enlisting in the Army, and going off to basic training. She remembers getting letters from Texas, Tennessee, California, Japan. Then she remembers when her happy childhood ended. It was the day the Raboys got word Ronnie was missing in action in Korea. I lost my mother. I would sort of stay away from uh, my parents because they, they were so devastated. And that never left them. My parents went to their grave with no closure. Families like Lana's are one step closer to getting closure now that 55 boxes of remains have been returned from North Korea. Watch part two of my special report, What Remains? The Search for Soldiers in North Korea on Wavy News 10 at 6.